What's up guys, it's Twisty GFX here with another new video. And basically what's been going on is I've been worrying about my school. Not my school, but school stuff. So now that I'm back and everything's starting to settle down, I'll go ahead and get back into video making. And instead of talking about my life, let's go ahead and get started with this Photoshop tutorial on how to make an animated banner. So first you want to get your dimensions. Basically go to File, New, put your width at 550 and your height at 250 and put the things at pixels. The background contents, you're going to want to make it transparent and then hit OK. Basically, what you want to do is you're, we're going to be making a uh, slider this video. And it's going to slide over your text and the shine. Basically, that's what, that's what it's going to do. We're not going to work on the background, so go ahead and get whatever color background you want. For me, I'll use black. So we can see how visible it is and how it looks. Create a new layer. There's a new layer button down here. And grab your text tool. Put down any name you want or whatever you want. Make sure the text is white for this video. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm going to use. And whenever you're following a tutorial, you should do what the guy's doing and then try to make it your way. So, alright, so there's our twi uh, I almost said twisty. There's our text right there. If you guys want a nice little layer style, go ahead and copy a layer style from your past creations. And basically, go ahead and paste your layout style. Layout. Oh my god, layer style on there. Go to your drop shadow. There's no need for it since we have a black background, but I guess you can leave it on your inner shadow. All it's going to do is make it a little bit. A little bit more metallic, but I'm gonna take mine off so you guys can see what we're doing. Color overlay. It's basically what's gonna it's gonna turn your uh, text into whatever color you want. So basically, that's decided to take a nice little goldish color, and your gradient overlay will give it that goldish metallic feeling. So I'm not gonna go too into de depth right there, but that's how you make your layer style. Go ahead and hit OK. This video is based on the animated banner, not the layer style. So you guys can make it whatever layer you want. You can have bevel and emboss on there. You can have whatever you guys plan to add on to your own text. So go to Window, then go to Animation. So basically you should see a timeline like this. If you don't, hit that button down there. And when, most people, when they open this up, it'll open up to this. So hit that button again, and it'll take you right back here. Alright, so basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to make an animated text. So it's going to glow right over your text. It can be used for nice signatures and all that other stuff, for advertisements, for your websites, other cool stuff like that. So go ahead and hit new layer down over here where the layers are. Go ahead and use white. And you're basically going to want to just dab it right there. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you guys use. You guys can use whatever you want. Duplicate your layer down here. This time do it over here on the timeline. Duplicate your layer. Grab your select tool. Go ahead and slide it over here to your Y. And basically that's what it's going to do. Except we're going to make more frames than this. Instead of doing it left and right one after another. That's what you're going to do. But I'll teach you guys how to make this really bit like much faster instead of doing all that. So basically, you want to click your first slide, go to no delay, so it's much more faster. It slides right over instead of sliding over like every 0.2 seconds. And right here where it says once, put it on forever so it's continuous. And then once again, just duplicate your layer. And every one of them will be on zero seconds. So whatever you set your first one to, is it'll duplicate that. And if you guys want to make it slower, then go ahead and just. It's basic and common sense to make it 5 seconds, 10 seconds, other stuff like that. So basically what you want to do is you want to grab that layer that had your nice little brush right there. Go ahead and grab it and put it at the end of your text. Don't put it all the way over here like this. You want to put it right on the line of your text right there. Go ahead and click your basically duplicate multiple. You see it's called tweens animation frames. Click that button. Put your frames to add on 30 because if you put anything higher than that, it typically makes the file bigger, longer to upload, and longer to save, and longer to send. I typically use 30 because it works well, so go ahead and hit OK. And there's your frame. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to look like this. Except you know how we're going to make it nice and shiny and glossy. We're not going to make it like a big giant white piece of block just sliding across your text. So go ahead and slide this back over. Go to your uh, frame 1. Right click the layer that you use to make your brush, create create clipping mask. And basically, it's going to do that. And you guys can use a different text, but basically that's what it's going to look like. If you guys want to make it look a little bit better, go ahead and go back to your first frame. And some people like to overlay it, some people like to do all that stuff to it. Like You can use soft light on it, and then it'll do that. So basically it looks all shiny and glossy and all that cool stuff. So that's just a short little tutorial for you guys today, and let's go ahead and show you guys how to save your uh, .gif, because you can't do it the same way as you usually could. So you want to go to File on the top left corner, Save for Web and Devices, 
and basically make sure it's saved as a GIF. This stuff doesn't really matter that much. You can just leave it, and then you want to hit save, and basically name it whatever you want, and hit save, and that's it. That's all you guys got to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be uploading two to three videos a day because I'm gonna try to get sponsored by YouTube. That's my goal. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. The next video will more than likely be based on making your thumbnail for your own YouTube videos. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys have any other suggestions on any other videos you guys want to see, go ahead and drop it in the comment box. It's Twisty GFX, and I'm out.